Hi, this is Jane Fairweather, and thanks for watching Real Estate Car Talk. I'm on my way today to meet with a seller who called me quite distressed. He had been on the market for 310 days, almost all of 2013. He had listed with three different agents at three different intervals and uh, has not even gotten an offer on his house. It was listed at a million nine when he came on. At some point in that 310 days, he dropped to a million eight fifty, and still nothing happened. So I, uh, in preparation for this appointment, I looked to see in that 310 days if other houses had sold in that price category while he was on the market. And that price category to me in our market is anything from 1650 to 1850 because those are the newer built homes and he was a home that was built about five years ago. So the homes that are very similar to his range in price from 1650 to 1850 and they are only different by neighborhood, size of lot, um, and you know sort of amenities. Um, so anyway, we're going over to talk about it. I did notice that while he was on the market, 19 homes sold in that price category, 19. That means to me, 19 times a buyer had the chance to buy his house, but chose to buy a different house instead. So 19 times he helped to sell the competition. And I know that that was not his intent, but that is in fact what happened. So he has one of two problems, at the, well he has three problems at this point. He has that he's been on the market so long that he's stale, he's on the sale rack. Buyers are looking at that and going, wow, what's wrong with that house? That's the big problem at the moment for me, if I take that on. The second is he clearly has either a price or a condition problem, and he might have both. Um, mostly, uh, condition can be solved by price. So if he has a condition problem, for example, you know, he's got pink walls, or he has, um, you know, black floors, or something that's odd that, that buyers aren't used to seeing, or his condition is just poor. It shows poorly, it's sloppy, whatever it is. But even condition can be solved by price. So I'm going to go and chat with him. I hope that he uh, recognizes that he has a role to play in getting his house sold. Uh, we are not miracle workers, so I'm going to make recommendations, which I don't think he was ready to listen to before from his other agents. There's an old saying in real estate. It goes, you want to be somebody's first love, second wife, and third listing agent. Because the third listing agent seems to be the one that the seller's ready to listen to after having many failed attempts. And in this case, I'll be the fourth listing agent. So maybe he's ready to hear the truth. I will do my best. I'll let you know. Thanks for watching.